Today's society has made incredible advancements. We have the ability to produce a high quality of life for billions of people. We have health care to prolong life, rapid transportation, and products to fulfill any possible needs or wants. But at what cost do these novelties and advancements come at? In order to fulfill these wants, humans have stopped at nothing to tame the planet. One of the results of this taming is ha habitat fragmentation. Habitat fragmentation is the breaking up or destruction of the environment. One of the causes of habitat fragmentation is our excessive use of agriculture. We have begun irrigating for farmland areas that don't have sufficient water to grow in. This has resulted in the shrinking of rivers and lakes, which in turn leads to the destruction of habitats that depended on those water supplies. The next cause of habitat fragmentation, deforestation, is related to this first cause. Clear cutting is a prime example of this. The quick process of complete clearing of terrain and vegetation makes it impossible for a species to adapt quick enough to these changes, which leads to degraded ecosystems and even extinctions. Each year, irreplaceable and unique forests and habitats are chopped down. This land is cleared to make room for the planting of alien and unnatural genetically enhanced food crops or to harvest the valuable lumber to be sold around the world. This destroys plant life and forces animals into smaller and smaller areas where they must compete harder for food. However, the final cause is urbanization. To create urban, urbanized areas, clear cutting is used to make room for cities. A denser population in one area demands that agriculture be utilized more to feed those people. These cities further contribute to the destruction of various habitats through industrial pollution which kills whole species. In fact, there are only a few animals that can survive in urbanized areas, like rats and raccoons. Humanity's drive for more has gone unchecked and needs to be brought back into balance with the need of the environment around us, or we risk destroying the fragile balance that already exists on this planet.